everyone. Uh, my name is Fred Zuli, and uh, I am the I'm the student who, who attend uh, this class last year. And because the numbers of uh, our class is not enough, so today's presentation will be me and the other student who also attend the class last year uh, to demonstrate this, uh, demonstrate how to present the paper. And okay, uh, today my topic is use of machine vision to sort tomato seedling for creating robots. And uh, uh, here is today's outlines. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the introduction and then the methods for the grafting robots. And, and after that, I will show you the results and the discussion. And finally, I will talk about the conclusion of this paper. And first of all, uh, what is grafting? Um, grafting is a method of asexual plant propagation where the tissues of the plant to be cultivated like this picture of uh, like cyan and uh, are encouraged to graft onto a strong vital plant like this rootstock and so that the cyan can grow and blossom well. And uh, also, there are some papers found that grafting planes were taller and uh, more vigorous than cell rooted ones. So uh, there is some advantage of grafting. Uh, it's easy to propagate, and it has variety improvement, and also it can increase the uh, production. So uh, here is the main purpose of this research paper is to develop a grading and sorting algorithm for a fully automatic grafting robot. And uh, in this paper, we will uh, grade and sort the tomato seedling into four groups using the machine vision for these grafting robots. And then to make seedling to be grafted more precise and faster. And uh, but in the past, uh, in the past, we we grab planes by ourselves by hands, and it is a time-consuming and tedious job, even for skilled skilled workers. So uh, this is the goal of this study. To yes, and then uh, the methods of this paper. Uh, about the grafting operation, uh, we need to select the same diameter of the cyan and rootstock of the seedling so that uh, we can graft well. So uh, we need a camera to s substitute the human eyes for grafting and sorting the seedling. And also, uh, we, we are uh, in this machine vision system, there are two two major categories of artificial lighting source. Uh, one is the particular A uh, is lighting the object from its front side, and which means from the camera side, so that the required image are visualized to the camera. And the bigger B is lighting the object from its back side. So that the shadow of the object is visualized to the camera. And uh, in this paper, we, we have to find a suitable one for this study. So both of type of this lighting source will be tested. And also we need the big light color. And there are three colors. Uh, white, blue, and red colors panel big lines. And also, we will test uh, the all the three color big lines will were separated used with the camera to acquire the images. And uh, about the light filter, uh, because lighting source produce some reflective or halation effect on the object, 
so which makes the certain part of the object highly bright. So we need the light filter to to remove these halogen effects, uh, which can make the image more clear. So uh, the polarized light filter are often used while acquiring images. And there are three three there are three different combinations of the device for a ten centimeter camera distance were used to acquire the, the image. And one is using no filter and one is using PL filter on the camera lens. And one is using PL filter on the camera lens as well as on the big light panel. Okay, and uh, also we will, uh, we are going to compare the t to find the best combination in expanding the required features of the images. Okay, and uh, here is the setting. Uh, this figure is the setting of this image acquisition. And as we say, there is a backlight panel and in the middle, it, it will be the tomato sizzling, and the camera is in here. Uh, and uh, uh, grading and sorting the sizzling, we will we will grade the grade the sort the sizzling. We will into the four groups, and group A is which is the uh, the diameter of the signaling is more than two millimeter, and uh, group B is between one point six millimeter to two millimeter, and the group C is the the stem diameter range is less than one point six millimeter, and the group D is substandard, which is like like this figure, which is means we cannot distinguish the stem and the leaves because uh, there are the the irregular <coughs> arrangement of the of the leaves. So we cannot we cannot uh, this this image cannot be analyzed. So it was rated as a D category and was left for manual grafting. Uh, let's show the results and discussion. Uh, here is the the results of the illumination source, and uh, about this figure, we can see that uh, along the pixel horizontal axis. The gray values of the pixel were extracted from both the images that were acquired from the front lighting as well as from the back lighting. And uh, uh, the bottom part of the two uh, of these two curves indicate the signal wing diameter. Uh, and uh, these this range will indicate the background of the image. So in this figure, we can, uh, in the back lighting system, we can we can distinguish the background and the and the diameter well. So the back lighting system was chosen for acquiring images of sizzling. And then about the bike light color. Uh, in this figure, we also, the, back, uh, the blue bright line is more, uh, is more sharp than the other two. So the blue bright line in this consideration found the best among the three. And about the PL filter, 
we can see the without PFL tunnel these curves, this one. Uh, this indicate that no PFL tunnel was used with the camera or with the bed lines. And the edge of the signaling stem was brightened due to the halation effect of illuminations. So uh, about these two curves, which is also uh, we, which are used the PL delta, and it's very sharp compared to the previous one. Uh, previ previous one means without the PL delta. So this behavior proves that the halation effect could be successfully reduced using the PL delta. So in this paper, it, it was designed to use the PL delta with camera lens as well as with bed light panel. Okay. Uh, here is the, this image is the signaling image in the binary scale. And figure B is the counting binary values of the pixel along the horizontal axis. And we can see that uh, around the pixel number 250, uh, which is mean the, which is indicated that the stem, uh, stem diameter and the, uh, and the pixel increased gradually up to the pixel number 360, which indicates the presence of the small leaves, yeah, this one. <laughs> and uh, after the, uh, the accumulated number indicates the, uh, maybe around the, the 550, this, and this is not of the true weights. And uh, yeah. And uh, about the about this figure, we can uh, make some image processing, processing to gradient through the signaling. And uh, in this figure, which is the we cannot distinguish the leaves and the stem. So uh, if we find if we in this case we. Uh, that will be great as the D group D, which is substandard, and will be left for manual writing. Okay, uh, and then this table shows the algorithm. Shows the algorithm could source 97% of the signaling successfully and the, and the rest 3% was failed because the target is, is not, uh, is shaped by the, by the irregular arrangement of the leaves as we saw this, this figure. So we cannot, uh, this, uh, this target cannot be sorted by this algorithm. And uh, it also found that most of the sorted seedling had larger stem diameter, which are desirable for proper writing. So uh, there is a conclusion of this research paper. And uh, uh, an other reason of grading and sorting tomato seedling using the machine vision is developed for a fully automated grafting robot system. And it is observed that back lighting system is combination with PL filter is better to recognize the shape of the signaling in the images. And also uh, in this paper, the success rate of the algorithm was 97%. And the rest, 3% 
Sailaway was built because of the elaborate arrangement of leaves. So, uh, this algorithm is not bounded for tomato seedling only, and it can have the other application. Maybe use apply for the maybe use for the paper, airplanes, or so far. So, uh, we can we can more. Uh, it can give the potential of the of the grafting and the, to replace slower manual 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 grafting. Okay. Uh, here is my presentation, and thank you for your listening. were invented used with the camera to acquire the images. And 
and the result of the of the test is show this figure and uh, 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 the paper uh, say the weapon of the blue background is short uh, the, the weapon of the blue background is short and it cannot penetrate the plain tissue so we uh, it, it would be the the other the other reason to choose the blue red lines in this paper, I think. Did I answer your questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh another question from Joby Murphy. Uh, I'd like to know uh, how you would be able to sort uh, a seedling which has lacked water instead of roughly maybe the seedling has lacked water or minerals. Will you be able to uh, graft it again or uh, uh, the system is able to recognize that this one uh, needs more water instead of need for grafting? Thank you. I think it can be analyzed by this system because uh, we are take a picture of the of the plant and then to to make uh, to and the image will be convert, uh, is converted to the binary, binary scale, so uh, I think it can be analyzed by the algorithm of the surrounding radio. Yes. Thank you. You said the success rate of algorithm is 97%. I wonder, is it enough high for graphical use? Uh, the paper uh, didn't mention the question you asked, but I think it is uh, it is uh, I I think it is uh, the law. Uh, I think the the method of the of this of the grading and sorting over reason is uh, has have the potential to to yes. Mm -hmm.